Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Isidro Reyna. This week on Station, the crew spotted the solar eclipse three times. On Monday, August 21st, millions in North America were treated to one of the most spectacular events in nature, a total solar eclipse. For the six Expedition 52 crew members aboard the International Space Station, they had a once-in-a-lifetime view of the eclipse from 252 miles above the Earth. The orbiting crewmates employed a multitude of cameras to photograph the event, capturing stunning views of the moon's shadow against the Earth. This was much darker than I gave it credit for being. Unfortunately, it it's, uh, was kind of near the, the limb, near the edge of the Earth from our view, but it still was impressive to be able to see that dark spot as we pass by. Skilled NASA photographers also captured spectacular views of the station as it traversed the sun in the early stages of the eclipse. This week, robotics controllers extracted a new astrophysics experiment from the trunk of the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft. The Canadarm2 will hand off the new astronomy gear to the Japanese robotic arm, which will then install it outside the Kibo Laboratory module. Dubbed CREAM, short for Cosmic Ray Energetics and Mass Investigation, it will look to solve a century-old mystery in astrophysics, the origin of cosmic rays. NASA's newest astronaut candidates reported for duty this week at the Johnson Space Center. The candidates begin two years of training that will focus on international space station systems, spacewalking, robotic operations, T-38 jet operations, and the Russian language. On Tuesday, the class of 12, along with two Canadian Space Agency astronaut candidates, had an opportunity to get a little advice from the current crew aboard the station. Once you have a feel, after you've get, gone through for a year or two, and you figure out what's happening and what's going on, you'll be seeing things that you think, well, why don't we fix this, or why don't we fix that? Well, take some responsibility and help people fix it. Come up with solutions, and don't be the person that's just always asking, why don't we? Be the person that helps find answers, helps find solutions, helps find the better way to get things done. As always, we invite you to send us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space, space.